Now let's talk about the group object command line. The group object command line displays object in group based upon the value of specified property and it returns a table with one row for each property value and a column that displays the number of items with that value. And if you specify more than one property, then group object command let first group them by the values of first property and then within each property group, it groups by the value of next property. So let's see an example for this. Go to the PowerShell command prompt. And if you want to know the parameters of group object command let, then we can take help of get help command let. Get help and we can write group object hit enter and here we can see group object command let supports property parameter no element parameter as string parameter and so on now let's try to group the files by extension so let's go to the desktop inside the testing directory we have two txt files two word files and one ppt file so let's group them come here first let's get all the item inside the directory and to get that type the command get item and we have to define the path and inside the testing directory we need all everything so we will use asterisk for that and hit enter and here we can see two txt file two word files and one ppt file has been written now let's try to group them and to do that we will take help of group object command led so write group object so we will group them based upon the extension and for that we will take help of property parameter to mention that we are grouping based upon the extension. So let's use the property parameter and let's mention we are grouping them by extension and hit enter. Here we can see count two for txt extension and these are the file name, one for ppt and these are the file name for the word file and these are the file name now let's say we want to omit the member of the group so how we can do that so for that we will take help of no element parameter so write no element and hit enter and here we can see the group has been omitted now let's try to sort them by ascending order and for that we will take help of sort object command led here so write sort object and we have to sort based upon the count property here. So let's mention that property equal to count. Okay, hit enter. And here we can see it has been sorted in ascending order. And if you want to sort in the descending order, just mention the descending parameter here and hit enter. Now it has been sorted in the descending order.